guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Uh, today I've got the first in the series I'm going to be starting and in the series we're going to be learning and taking a look at materials. Now when setting up a scene or using something in Cinema 4D, uh, one of the most important things is actually the material. Uh, you could model something uh, fairly decent or you could make something fairly decent, uh, however the material could let it down. Uh, so that's going to be what I'm going to be covering. Uh, some videos could be quite long, some could be short. Uh, so just to kind of teach you everything about the materials, uh, at least what I know anyway. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, I haven't got anything modeled, so I'm just going to go to MoGraph and Text Object. And I'm going to go for kind of grungy look, so I'm going to use the font uh, M-O-L-O-T, Molot I believe. I'm going to make it bold, italic, like so. And obviously with grunge, you kind of want thick, bold text. So we're going to change the depth to 100. And maybe make some caps. Uh, fill it cap and fill it cap. Uh, leave it like that for now. That would, in fact, now crank it down to about 3 and 3. There we go. And uh, you want to get the material on your text. So make a new material and go to load image. Now I've got some textures here. Uh, I'm going to use use this texture and just click no and there you go apply it to the text now you notice that when you apply a material kind of from an image it, it doesn't does it doesn't do a good job cinema 4d automatically applies it uh, not to kind of like cubic around and wrap around the whole text let's just take a look here uh, there you go so it's on the top and it's in the depth it's not on the front face uh, so what you want to do is I'm going to go to the material in the little thumbnail in the objects panel on the top right. Uh, control drag, make two copies. On the left one, you want to change the projection to cubic and type and press seamless. And on the one on the right, go to flat and tick seamless. And selection, type C1. Make sure the C is in capitals. And there you go. So let's just take a look at this. And see, that's looking a lot better. You know, you've got the text and it kind of wraps around everything. And that's looking a lot nicer. And that's, that, that's kind of what you want to do. Uh, so one thing I'm going to be showing you is the filters. Uh, so go into the little thumbnail down here and go to texture. And if you go to filter and then click on filter, it will bring up all these panels. And this is like the adjustment options in Photoshop or whatever. I mean, you have few, so you can change it to a green or a blue or whatever. Uh, save do it in a secondary program. You know, if you want it more, if you want it desaturated, you know, lower the saturation. If you want it really saturated, you can obviously increase it. And obviously, like the lightness, brightness, and darkness, and whatnot. And you also got contrast and everything like that. And really, that's about it. Uh, it's a very, very good option. Uh, it, it does a lot. Uh, maybe go to render settings here. And I'll just put in a global illumination preset and maybe an ambient occlusion. And I'll just take a look what it looks like. Obviously, we've only got one light lighting the scene, so it won't be very good. Uh, but you see that from that original, uh, it looks completely different, and it looks quite cool, in fact. Um, maybe with some lights going on or whatever. Uh, that's a really good technique, uh, the filters. I don't know many people that use it. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I'm in Connor with Chrome Designs. There we go. And... Uh, yeah, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Also, guys, I recommend you go check out Scriv. Uh, link is in the description. Uh, I actually feature in a few of the earlier episodes, and I'm off to the cameraman uh, when shooting something. Uh, if you like to see people eat random things or uh, skits or uh, like the What the Fuck series, uh, go check them out. Uh, see if you like the videos or whatever. Uh, subscribe if you like the stuff, obviously. And... Um, no, that's about it. Links in the description. I recommend you go check them out.